Today we are talking Sword and Shield Market Update. How is it doing? Sealed and singles. We're going to take a look at boxes, the chase cards, and we're just going to dive straight into, obviously, the GOAT, Evolving Skies. I just, I think it's interesting to check in on some of these sets and kind of see if they're moving, if they're stalled out, it, just because Scarlet and Violet, everything's so Scarlet and Violet, Scarlet and Violet, Scarlet and Violet. We forget sometimes Sword and Shield was pretty epic. So with Evolving Skies, it's pretty much flat on the three month chart. The one month chart, we are seeing a little bit of growth, 2.48%. And we'll just do the zoom out here on the old one year, just so you guys could see up 65%. Next up, we have the chase card from the set, the Umbreon VMAX. We got the one month chart here up 5.39%. Three month, it's up a tiny bit, 1%. And then this is where you're going to see the gains. Um, the one year chart is up 72%. But what I want to take a look at right here is so, see, this is what happened. This is the, we can see it on the one year or the six month. The big run up, right? It almost cracked 1,000 and then it came down to 838 leveled out and then it's starting a new climb 888 so we'll check last solds here now very interesting if you take a look here this uh this is all recently 880 900 869 and 1087 so could we see the umbreon crack back up into that nine hundred thousand dollar range only time will tell Next up, uh, possibly my favorite set. Yeah, probably my favorite, honestly, if I'm being honest. Lost Origin. These boxes are, if we pull, so 4.3% up on the three month, but we go over to the one month and we're seeing, unfortunately, still a decline. Sub 200 again for Lost Origin. And that is unfortunate. We pull out the, uh, the one year chart, 52%. Last Solds. Last sold 200, 183, 185. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate. I think I think what we're seeing is some people um, offloading these boxes. Unfortunately, um, some people just aren't going to be holding long term. And you know there was that restock so a while back. So um, yeah, I still have confidence in the set. I still think that the Giratina can carry, and I think the set itself is strong enough. So we'll pull, we'll pull up the Giratina as well. Super stunning card. Um, on the three month chart, it's unfortunately still getting hammered down 13.9%. And on the one month chart, down 7%. Go to the six month and it's still up 20%. The one year, and it's up 22%. So what it looks like we could be having here is it looks like we, we might be bottoming out and coming back up. It's a little hard to, t to tell because um, right here, see it did that same thing. Look, it bottomed out, came back up, then bottomed out, came back up, and then came back down. So unfortunately, not what I personally want to see with the Giratina, but it is what it is. Um, I do own this card in a PSA 10, but uh, yeah, it's getting a little bit hammered. A lot of the a lot of the uh, alt arts from the era are, and it's just, it's just because a lot of people are going Scarlet and Violet, Scarlet and Violet, Sword and Shield's getting forgotten. Um, but something that's that will that well I can't say will happen but I think will happen is once a lot of these Scarlet and Violet era cards and boxes hit a certain price point especially the boxes once they start nearing Sword and Shield in price then people are going to be like holy crap look how cheap Sword and Shield is compared to Scarlet and Violet and then they're going to jump back uh, I've used the analogy many times it's like a carousel um, if you've ever watched you know on a carousel like your kid or something or, or a kid and they're going around and, but you, you lose them for a long time till they come back around and so you look at whatever is coming back around right so it's kind of like that um right now sword and shield era is at the back of the carousel right it's not back into our vision and scarlet and violet is there so that's what everyone's clamoring for uh which is totally natural and understandable nothing wrong with that um fusion strike here 208 a box and down 11.3 percent on the three month chart, check a look at the one month here. Pretty much the same, steady decline, 11.8%. Um, we're gonna see, even on the six month, down 10%. The one year chart showing the gains, 44%. So, kind of the same thing. We don't really know if this is leveling out right here. Looks like it could be. Um, it might be popping back up. So, you, you got some sales, some low sales right here, but a 213 and 213 sale 
uh, might start to bring that price up. We'll see. Then we have the Gengar alt art on the three month chart down 10.29%. And it looks like it bottomed out at 300, came back up. And so it looks like it's leveling out, holding like the market was like, this is not less than a $300 card. So that is interesting. On the one month, it's a little bit of a rebound, almost 2%. Six month chart, you're still seeing some of that gain um, from the big old run up in May, um, but it's still up 35%. And the one year chart is going to show the goods at 59.82%. And so, yeah, that is crazy that that ran up and went, it's dropped $100 in value. Um, super cool card. Next up, we have Brilliant Stars. Now, Brilliant Stars is one of those, one of those like, I don't know. I, I feel like it's. It's not like, it's not mid, it's like a little bit above mid. Like, it's good. I like Brilliant Stars. Um, and we'll talk about why in a second. <laughs> if you guys are uh, familiar with the channel, you know exactly where this is going. But uh, the one-month chart, down 1.75. Three-month, down a few percent. The six-month chart, you're still seeing a almost 10% gain. And the one-year chart, 20%. So, still not a particularly valuable box. Um, I think the set is good enough. It has a great chase, and it has a lot of good cards in it, actually. But the chase card is the Charizard V. I'm going to say it every time I can that this is the best Charizard artwork we have ever gotten, hands down, in my opinion. Just my opinion. If you guys don't agree, you don't agree. No big deal. But I do think that it is the best we've ever gotten um, for a Charizard card. I think it's absolutely stunning, and I cannot believe that it is this cheap. On the three-month chart, we're seeing it's down 25%. But pop over to the one month here we're seeing a increase of 4.19 percent which looks like it might have found its bottom and it's on its way up hopefully back up to 131 if we zoom out here to the six month it's still up about five percent and the one year is only up 8.75 percent which is kind of wild so on its big run up it, it almost hit 200 dollars which I thought was a fair valuation for this card, considering what it was. And I kind of like to have seen, I'd like to see this card get back up to that $200 range. Personally, I just think it's too good of a card. That's just my opinion, though. Um, we saw the most sales at 113. Second most sales at 175, which is interesting. So people were buying on that way up, <laughs> which is wild. Um, but yeah, that is the Charizard V. Um, Absolutely stunning card. I rest my case on that one. Next up, we have Chilling Rain. Three month chart. It's all these boxes are just for the most part down 11 point 11 point 11 percent. The one month, uh, it's maybe leveling out, coming up a tiny bit, up 0.5 percent. Take a wider view out to the six month. It's up four percent. And the one year, you get to see the gains, almost 40 percent up. Uh, it's it's interesting. Uh, what's what's going on some of these boxes like I said I think because the attention's getting diverted right um, it hit its high of around 231 came back down to 212 then came up to 220 then came down then came back up so it's one of those things where honestly you can't we don't know if this is it is this leveling out is it gonna stay here we don't know we don't know um, all all we know is that these boxes need more time to appreciate. And you see that, that that up and down happens a lot. It happens on the way up. It happens on the way down. That's just kind of how it goes. So we will see. Um, Chilling Rain's a cool set. The Blaziken here, uh, I think, well, not my favorite of the alt arts, um, is a cool card. Extremely hard to pull, which is always good for value. Um, on the three-month chart here, we're seeing down 18%. The one month, it's pretty flat, down just a tiny bit. Six months showing some big gains at 53%, and the one year showing the big dog gains, 63%. So um, if you we look at it from the six month, like is this, once again, is this card kind of bottoming out? It, I think, I don't know. It looks like it still could be uh, moving down, which this is very interesting. $200 sale. 274, 273, 273. So, where are these cards and sets will bottom? Nobody knows, but we will find out. Next up, um, underrated set. We've talked about it before. Silver Tempest, uh, the Lugia Chase. The Lugia card is sick, in my opinion. 
This is down 6.5% in the last three months and still declining in the last month, down 5.79%. 11% gain on over the last six months and solid 27% over the last year. You can see this is a lot more um, organic growth looking chart than some of the other boxes that had like and and the cards that had like crazy run ups so um, it seems like it's holding it's holding here um, yeah this is still available at the Pokemon Center um, we're gonna touch on that in a second uh, their last sale was at 161 though so that's interesting 161 161 but then there was a uh, yeah I hate that TCG player does this why are 36 loose packs being sold as a booster box in 134 like that's stupid anyways the the numbers are skewed. I take this out. The last sales were 162, so I don't know. That's stupid. I hate that they do that. Um, listed median price is 180, so in theory this should be going up as sales continue. But this is the problem with Silver Tempest. Uh, still not out of stock on the Pokemon Center, um, which is kind of wild to me. However, there's a purchase limit of four, and so you can't get a sealed case, and their shipping isn't really the best. So if you want to order from them, just expect the boxes could get a little bit crinkled. I would love to see them tighten up their shipping, but the Lugia is a stunning card. Absolutely love it. Uh, it's tanking <laughs> still down 17% in the past month, still on the way down 7.6%. Uh, out on the sixth month, we still see a little bit of gain. Uh, well, not a little bit, 20% is a good chunk. And on the one year, only 15%. So it was 141 back here, and now we're at 164. So yeah, that was last sales 164, 168, 164, 160. So the Lugia V, uh, yeah, just these cards are just kind of free falling. Not free falling. That that's a bad word, um, but they're just steadily going down. Then we have Battle Styles. Now this box is still very affordable, below MSRP, one thirty-two, down three percent, um, up three percent in the last one month. So it's getting a little bit of an uptick. We will zoom out, take a larger look, 21% in the past six months, and almost 20% over the past year for Battle Styles. Now, Battle Styles is not as strong of a set, but it does have this Tyranitar V, the sleepy guy. He just ate a bunch, and he's got to sleep it off. And a super adorable card like this card, down 21% over the past three months. This was in the 180s, and now it's down into the 140s. The one-month chart showing pretty much level down just a little bit one percent six month you can see a big gain 62 percent and the one year 44 percent because this was man that's kind of wild that you could have got this for under a hundred dollars it's pretty much it's been holding around that 140 mark so some good strength there from the i hate this why chinese why is chinese in here same thing i hate it this is skewing our sales but uh 145 144 last sale last sold so Tyranitar. Then we have uh, one of the one of the least favorite sets, uh, Vivid Voltage. Up, it's on a little bit of an uptick though in the past three months, up 4.7 percent. One month chart showing even some more growth, up 6.28 percent. Uh, we'll zoom out to the one year here. Uh, pretty much almost even, just only up two percent. Tiny bit of a gain. Um, the Rainbow Chonkachu is a cool card from the set, the big chase. And it's in a little bit of a fall, down almost 12% on three-month chart. Down another 4% on the last month. The six month, it's up only 4%. And the one-year chart, it is actually down 6.63%. Over here, it was $119, and now we're at $111. Uh, so, yeah. Last sold, ooh, last sold was 100 so it'll be interesting to see where this free fall for this card ends. We got uh, Sword and Shield Base. We're getting, we're mixing it up. We're hitting, we're not just hitting, trying to hit as many of the boxes um, as we can here. Sword and Shield Base, uh, expensive box already, um, but still up 4.35% in the last three months and 25 in the last one month. On the one year, it's up 7%. So. Nothing to sneeze at. Had a big dip down here. Went down to 263, and now we're up to 308 a box. Although, check out these last sales: 334, 323, 331. So market price is like this: 330. Uh, listed median at 385. So 
Sword and Shield base could be creeping up to near 400 a box, which is kind of crazy. Um, from that set, we have the Snorlax uh, Rainbow. And it is down almost 20% on the last three months and another almost 10% in the last month. If we take a zoom out. It's got some gains, though. It's up 35% in the last year, but it looks like it's kind of free-falling. We'll take a look at recent sales. Yeah, it's kind of going down here. 37 36 38 37 Even a $32 sale? It's interesting. So, yeah, it's, it's just not the not the best set, unfortunately. Uh, this box should have probably been in sooner. Astral Radiance, down just over 8% on the last three months. 2% on the last month, so kind of leveling out a little. Um, and then on the one year, we're only seeing 16% gain. So it was around 180 a box. Now it's down to in the 160s. The listed median price is 180. So uh, we could see this slowly start creeping up back to that that spot. But uh, some lower sales here, 157, 168, 150. Last solds all on TCG player. So yeah, interesting there. Uh, Machamp, Machamp, Machamp. Uh, down almost 30% in the last three months. Poor guy. Uh, this is a artwork-wise. I absolutely love everything that's going on in this card. I think it's cool. It's a fun card. Um, it looks like it might be leveling out a little. Still down 1.29%. Zoom out to the one year. It's still up 44%. At one point, this card almost hit $200. And it's hovering around that 120 range. Um, you could have had it for $78, which is kind of wild. Um... Yeah, these Japanese sales and other stuff is... Anyways, last real last solds were 120, 124, 124. So Machamp holding that 120 range. Darkness of Blaze we'll touch on as our last box here real quickly. Up almost 4% in the past three months. Up a little bit in the last month still. So seeing some climb on Darkness of Blaze. And it's mostly level, only up 3% in the past year. Take a look at the uh, Charizard here. Uh, down 10% in the past three months, but up 2.4 in the last month. So maybe seeing a little bit of a rebound here. No, it doesn't look like it. Um, down 18%. Last solds on this were 1992. 1992, 1992. We're not going to include this because I don't know what this is Chinese. Yeah. So in summary, that is your Sword and Shield um, market update-ish. And... I think what was happening, so when Sword and Shield was going crazy, when the alt arts were going crazy, uh, it's this is this is something that happens and it makes sense, right? So uh, evolving skies and fusion strike and lost origin, right? Everything was happening and uh, it was get these boxes, get these chase cards, right? Get these alt arts, <clears throat> and then when those started to get to crazy prices, or you know they price people out, um, then those people would look to okay, well what else from Sword and Shield? So that's where we started looking at lesser sword and shield sets and lesser alt arts. And so then those start those started to do the same thing. So that's kind of what happened. And now we are in Scarlet and Violet era. People are kind of, it depends. I've seen uh, kind of a lot of people being like, oh, I'm just, I'm going to do surging. And then I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for um, the Team Rocket set. <clears throat> and some of those other, the trainer sets, right, that's going to be coming out uh, next year. So some people are just, some people are just completely waiting, which would be stopping some money from entering. And yeah, I think we're just, we're at a stagnation point with Sword and Shield, and it's not bad. We're just, expect to see some drops. Like, so for me, with a lot of my Sword and Shield boxes, um, I'm just, I'm just riding them out. Because like I said, Scarlet and Violet Air is going to hit a thing. It's going to get to a certain point and people are going to go back to Sword and Shield, especially if those prices are low. So, yeah, that's just just my approach. I'm not worried about these drops. I'm not selling any boxes currently. I think I have, like, two listed on eBay, but I have them listed high, waiting for some price appreciation. So, um, but yeah, I'm not selling any sealed product. I'm not worried about Sword and Shield. <clears throat> I think that, uh, just give it some more time. Give it some more time. We need uh, we need Scarlet and Violet to do its thing, and then Sword and Shield will catch up. Well, not catch up, but Sword and Shield will get some spotlight again at some point. So um, that is going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. A uh, little Sword and Shield update for you guys. Um, yeah, I don't think I have anything else for you guys. Um, yeah.
that's 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 it thank you for watching um oh actually last thing if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed do yourself a favor because obviously you enjoyed watching over like 20 minutes and you enjoyed the content so um hit the subscribe button and i do like daily i don't daily videos um i don't know how if i'm going to be able to keep hitting daily because i'm going to be traveling going to japan do some pokemon card hunting so i don't know if that daily is going to continue but i'm going to try i'm going to do my best but yeah i will catch you guys in the next one and remember it was never a phase